Anthem EA and Bioware's take on the shared world shooter was officially revealed at last year's E3 and made quite a splash. This year, they came out swinging with full gameplay demos and trailers that garnered a lot of excitement. My name is Cassius Ken and here is everything you need to know about Anthem. There was a lot of information shared both from the EA Play press conference and Game Informer's exclusive, so let's jump right into it, starting with the release date, as you won't have to wait too incredibly long to play Anthem. It's coming out on February 22nd, 2019. As an aside, that's the same day as Days Gone, and I'm super looking forward to seeing who's gonna flinch first. The game will launch simultaneously on all platforms and an internet connection is required to play. Moving on from there, here are a few core systems you should know about. You will be in control of your character by way of Anthem's exosuits, known as javelins. These javelins come in an array of types for a launch, ranging from the Heavy Colossus, because Titan was taken by Destiny, to the Wraith Mage-like Glass Cannon, the Storm. They each have their own strengths and weaknesses and each are unique in various ways. You will have access to the Ranger, an all-around javelin, the Interceptor, the Lightweight Speedster, the aforementioned Tank Colossus, and Mage the Storm. It is yet to be said that there will be more javelins available after launch, but I'm willing to bet that since these javelins are the core character classes that there will be. The javelins are your vehicles through the lush jungles and high cliffs of Anthem's open world. An open world we don't know the name of yet because they haven't revealed it. As for your character, you are known as a freelancer, and it's your job to protect Fort Taurus and the various world engines on the distant planet from enemy factions such as the Scar and other javelin wielding threats. The driving force of the story, the driving force of the story is the anthem of creation, something that world bearers don't completely understand but know enough to keep out of the wrong hands. The anthem of creation is said to be the creator of all things in Anthem's world, and if used for nefarious deeds, can put an end to the life of all things. Along the way, you'll encounter various hostile and non hostile life forms ranging from docile animals to rampaging colossal titans. While the entire game can be played solo, some threats and instances will require you to call for help from others. It is, however, possible to play the game and to end by yourself. It should be noted that right from the jump, you will have the ability to go almost anywhere in the entire world with little restrictions. Now, if a high level combatant one shots you out of the sky, that's a completely different story entirely. At least you won't have to worry about getting killed on the water as there is no underwater combat as well as no AI party members. And there is no space banging. Yeah. Sorry folks, I don't make the rules. There is no romance option in Anthem. You can make friends with various NPCs but you can't bang them. And sure that sucks, but... I've got nothing, actually. I was looking forward to some good mech suit space banging. I guess I'll take no loot sharing instead. All loot is instant based, so you won't have to worry about sharing your hard earned stuff with the friend you just carry through an entire instance. And there won't be any loot boxes, because EA flew way too close to the sun last year with Battle. Front 2, and they are walking the loot box stuff all the way back. It should be noted that there are microtransactions, however, but it's all cosmetics. Skins for your javelin, etc. Hard yes to crafting. We don't exactly know how crafting is going to work in the game, but we should be getting details very soon, either from Game Informer or by themselves. This comes directly from a developer on Twitter, Mark Dura. He says they will be crafting. We haven't seen anything from it. But I expect it will work so someone in the vein of Monster in the World where you fight various monsters and find various things in the world, bring them back to your home base and have them built either in phase of weapons or more equipment for your javelin. The last thing I want to talk about is frame rate, as people want to know if it runs at 60 on consoles. It doesn't. At least not on base PS4 and Xbox One. I expect a frame rate mode on the PS4 Pro and Xbox One X, but only time will tell. They haven't said anything, the developer on Twitter once again said we haven't revealed any details on specific consoles, but I expect there will be as this has been a precedent for games like this to have a frame rate mode, and you can expect it to run at above 30 on PC. And that's mostly everything you need to know about Anthem going into the first day of press conferences at E3 2018. There might be more information and impressions going into E3 proper, and I'll be sure to make up more videos about Anthem as time goes on, so make sure you subscribe for more Anthem and E3 content. Until then, what do you think about Anthem? Are you hyped? Or are you feeling major Destiny vibes in terms of promise? Let me know in the comments below. And hey, while you're down there, don't be afraid to like as well, it really helps the channel out. I've been Cassius Kent, thank you for watching, thank you for listening, and until next time, take care.